To get started, simply click Create New Employer on the Open Employer screen. Complete each screen accordingly with your relevant employer information. BrightPay allows for employees to be assigned to single departments or multiple departments with weightings, which can be used in payroll processing and departmental analysis. An unlimited number of departments can be set up when setting up a new employer or at a later stage. Default settings can also be created for your typical employee. These will be used every time you set up a new employee, but can be changed on an individual basis if needed. If you know your staging date for automatic enrolment, simply enter this accordingly. Select a location to save your employer file to to complete your employer setup. Once you've set up your employer details, you will now be presented with eight tab headings. To access your employer information, simply select the employer tab. Further employer details can be entered and amended here at any time. And here you will also find a dedicated RTI submission section for entering your RTI user credentials. Departments, hourly rates, daily rates and addition and deduction types can also be created here all of which will be available for general selection when processing each employee's payslip. Each employer item allows you to view the employees assigned to it and their associated pay periods. Saving schemes and an unlimited number of employer bank accounts can also be set up within this function as required. To set up your employees, simply select the Employees tab. There is no limit to the number of employees you can set up and employee details can be added in several ways. To manually enter your employee details, click the Add New Employee button and enter your employee's personal, employment, starter, payment, tax and NIC and HR details accordingly. BrightPay caters for weekly, fortnightly, four weekly, monthly, quarterly and yearly payroll. Simply choose a pay frequency and how the employee is to be paid at the time of setting up the employee. Alternatively, if migrating from another payroll software, employee details can be easily imported into BrightPay using CSV file format. Once your employee information has been exported from your previous software, simply click File, Import Export Data and Import Employees from a CSV file. Select the criteria and employees you wish to import and click Import. Once employee details have been set up, payroll can now be processed. Simply click Payroll and set up the payment schedule you require for the tax year ahead. Employees are listed in a summary view. To edit an employee's pay, simply select the employee. Salary payments, daily payments, hourly payments, additions and deductions can be added as required. There are no limits to what you can add and items can be automatically repeated each period in the year. Payments, additions and deductions can also be imported from a CSV file if required. The employee's calendar is used to record working and non-working days, holidays, absences, parenting leave and sick leave. BrightPay will automatically calculate statutory pay amounts based on your selections and will add them to the relevant pay slips. If an employee does not qualify for statutory pay, BrightPay will let you know. As you enter payments, additions and deductions, a live pay slip preview will automatically update to show you the calculated pay slip values quickly and clearly. Any amendments that are needed to an employee's payslip settings can be easily made by clicking the Edit button on the employee's payslip. As payslips are finalised, users can file their RTI full payment submissions immediately to HMRC within the dedicated RTI facility provided. Once payslips are finalised, printing, emailing, exporting of payslips is simple and flexible. Payslips can be printed to A4 and A5 blank pages or to popular payslip stationery. An options menu also allows you to customise your payslips to suit your needs. Payslips can be emailed at the click of a button using the dedicated email payslip facility or exported to PDF using the export payslips option. Making payments to employees is facilitated through the pay employees option. 
BrightPay provides a cash payments breakdown, a check payment summary, and bank payment files in various formats if paying employees by electronic bank transfer. Once payroll has been processed, BrightPay allows you to recall, view, and analyze all of your payroll data. To access this facility, simply click Analysis. Either select a saved report from the menu toolbar or click New Report to design your own. Choose the time frame, the employees and the information you wish to view and click Run Report. Once run, reports can be edited, resized and reordered. Multiple reports can be opened together, saved, printed and exported in various formats. As you continue to process payroll, BrightPay will keep a track of how much is owed to HMRC each tax month or quarter. To access this facility and record payments made to the HMRC, simply select the HMRC Payments tab. As all figures are calculated for you, simply record your payment amount and date of payment. A clear user-friendly P32 employer payment record can also be viewed and printed as desired. At the end of the tax year, P60s can be printed or emailed to your employees on BrightPay's own design template. A new feature in BrightPay 1617, available to standard and bureau users, is our Construction Industry Scheme Utility. This utility allows you to set up subcontractors, verify them with HMRC, and process weekly or monthly payments to them. Payment and deduction statements can be printed, exported to PDF or emailed directly from BrightPay to your subcontractors. At the end of the month, you can also submit your monthly CIS 300 return to HMRC through the Submissions utility. CIS reports can be produced at any time within the Analysis function for your reporting requirements. As soon as your staging date is known, this can be entered in the dedicated pensions utility in the designated field provided. By entering the date here, this will ensure that your on-screen automatic enrolment alerts will start at the correct time for you. Entering details of your pension scheme is also straightforward in BrightPay and can be entered in advance of your staging date. Within the pensions utility, simply click Add New Scheme followed by the applicable pension scheme option from the listing. Currently, we offer dedicated support for a number of payroll providers, and we have an other automatic enrollment scheme option to cater for other schemes we don't specifically cover. Using NEST as an example, simply enter your employer reference in the field provided, followed by the group details to match exactly as you have set them up with the pension provider. Here, we will also have the option to select which contribution rates apply and also the earnings basis and also to add further groups if required, for example if you have employees on different pay frequencies or sets of employees with different contribution rates. To save your pension scheme, simply click Save. A useful feature in BrightPay is the pre-assessment tool which can be accessed at the top of the pensions utility. Essentially, this gives you an estimated snapshot of what automatic enrolment will look like once you've staged. That is, what worker category each employee will fall into, based on earnings entered in their current pay period, and what their estimated qualifying earnings and contribution amounts will be. After staging, this feature also allows you to perform a post-assessment review, which will give you a snapshot of what automatic enrolment looked like at your staging date. This will include details of the worker category for each employee, their assessment dates, and information on postponed employees. As soon as you reach your staging date in the payroll, BrightPay will automatically assess your employees for you and will determine whether your employees are eligible job holders, non-eligible job holders, or entitled workers. You will see on-screen flags and alerts appear to notify you that you now have automatic enrolment duties to perform. These alerts will bring you through to the various actions available based on the selected employee's worker category. So here you will see we have an employee who is an eligible job holder. So we have the option to enrol her into a qualifying scheme, postpone her or mark as exempt if applicable. 
In this instance, we will enroll the employee. After clicking Enroll, simply select the scheme you are enrolling them into, the applicable tax relief, and click Continue. A useful feature in BrightPay is the option to batch process multiple employees at the same time. You'll see here that at the time of enrolling an eligible job holder, you will also be given the option to enroll multiple employees with the same settings. Simply select the employees who you wish to enroll and click the designated button to complete their enrolment. Once an employee has been enrolled, BrightPay will then automatically prepare their enrolment letter and this can be printed, exported to PDF or emailed to an employee. BrightPay uses the simplified April 2015 Pensions Regulators letter templates and should you decide to print or export these letters, the user will be given control over page size, orientation and margins. If we take a look at a print preview here, you will see that this will include details of the employee's staging date, what their contribution rates will be, their option to opt out, and general information about auto-enrolment and what it will mean for them. Again, you will be given the option to batch print, export or email enrolment letters to multiple employees and also to mark them as done all at the same time. Taking our next employee, this employee is a non-eligible job holder, so we are given the following options based on this worker category. To write to him inviting him to opt in, to opt him in should he choose to do so, to postpone him or mark him as exempt. Likewise, our next employee is being assessed as an entitled worker, so we are given the following options for this category. Should you wish to postpone an employee, this can be done by selecting the Postpone option within their Automatic Enrolment Utility. Enter the relevant deferral date and press Continue. At the time of postponing one employee, you will again be given the option to carry out the same action for multiple employees. Simply select those you wish to postpone and click OK. BrightPay will then automatically prepare the employee's postponement letters, which again can be printed, exported to PDF or emailed directly from BrightPay to the employees. Simply mark as done once completed. Once employees have been enrolled, have joined or opted in, returning to payroll you will now see their pension deductions being applied to their payslips. On finalising their payslips, the pension deductions will also be included on their printed payslip. Where we offer dedicated support for a pension scheme, this means that BrightPay can produce the contribution files and where applicable the enrolment file for upload into the pension provider's web portal. For Nest, there is also an API option, which will allow you to submit your enrolment file and subsequent contribution files directly from BrightPay into Nest. This works very similarly to RTI, where you just click one button and the submission is made. To use the API option, within the Pensions Utility, simply select Nest on the menu bar and select Nest Web Service as your submission method. Enter your login details that you use for Nest and click Save Changes. To submit your enrolment file using API, select Enrolment Summary and click Send Enrolment Submission. At step 1, select the employees you wish to include in your enrolment file and at step 2, enter your payment source to match exactly what you have set up with Nest. At step 3, simply click Send Now to submit your enrolment file to Nest. Similar to RTI, you will subsequently receive confirmation that Nest has received your file on your enrolment summary. Likewise, to submit a Nest API contributions file after each subsequent pay period, select Contribution Summary on the menu bar and click Send Submission. Enter your Nest payment source and payment due date. At step 2, select the employees you wish to include. And at step 3, for any applicable employees, select a reason for partial or non-payment of contributions. Then at step 4, simply click Send Now to submit your contributions file directly into Nest. Again, you will receive confirmation back into BrightPay that Nest has successfully received your file. BrightPay is also able to process opt-out requests and issue refunds where applicable. If an opt-out notice is received for an employee, simply access the employee's automatic enrolment utility and select the opt-out option. 
simply enter in the opt-out reference and save this change. If the employee has already made contributions, these will then be refunded as follows in the next pay period process for them. For your own reporting requirements, the analysis function within the software can be accessed at any time should you wish to generate your own automatic enrollment reports. Simply click New Report, select your criteria and run the report to view on screen. These reports can subsequently be saved or edited as required. After staging, Brightpay will continue to monitor your employees for you and will flag any automatic enrollment duties you need to perform. For example, if you have a new starter commencing employment with you or an employee turns 22 with qualifying earnings. For further information on our Brightpay software, including pricing and license options, please visit our website www.brightpay.co.uk. Alternatively, you can contact us by telephone on 0845 300 4304 or by email at sales at brightpay.co.uk. Brightpay can be evaluated for 60 days on a free trial basis. Simply download our current version now from our website to avail of your trial.